G'day guys and welcome to this week's View It For Me um, Where we just view things Whatever you want me to view, review, just sing out and yeah, give me the heads up um, So, this week's, it's the Stanley home base cook set um, We'll get the boring stuff over and done with So, a bit of specs and stuff like that So it is stainless steel um, it weighs about 3.7 kilo, so good indication it's half decent quality. Um, it's an 11 piece set and dimensions roughly from handle to handle it's about 300, so 30 centimeters. Um, from base to the top of the handle is about 1700, so 17 centimeters. And across the top is about 25, so 25 centimetres. So we'll open him up, give you a look at side. I'll lay it all out and I'll go through each individual piece. I've had this now for roughly, um, oh, it'd be two years, I'd say, three years. Um, still pretty much looks like the day I got it. <laughs> Definitely been used, that's for sure guys did send it out to me um but yeah i'll i'll give you a rundown on it it is good quality and the best thing is it comes with a lifetime warranty so so you can't really go wrong so i'll open him up it all packs into each other so it's a good thing it comes with a little elastic handle Start on this side. Lid. best thing about on the lid is it has the instructions of how everything goes <laughs> so I'll give you an idea now it goes back in, which is handy. <laughs> so the amount of times I've done it, I still sometimes look at that lid. So like I said, I'll lay everything out and I'll go, go through it. So, start from this end. So we've got a spoon. They all break down. Uh, they are good quality, they're not cheap. I thought they would have broke by now, but they haven't on me, so... Which is quite handy. And it's good that they do break up to um, go back in in itself. Saves a bit of space. So you got a spoon, spatula, wrong way, spatula. Moving over here, uh, what are they called? Like trivets. So these things come in handy for many things. Obviously, you got, you're going to put something hot on the bench. You can put them down first. Put that on top. Um, it won't hurt them. Over here also, because your handles, you all know how sometimes your handles on your um, steel handles can get hot, especially if you're boiling water or stuff like that. So that's easy. Control it like that. So they come in handy for a few reasons. Over here, chopping board. This is another thing I thought folding in and out, she might finally give way, but like I said, I've had this for years, guys, and um, it's still, it, Definitely gets good use on both sides, so I'll more use that side. That's how she sits down like so. But um, yeah, it's, it's still kicking goals for me. Uh, so the chopping board over here. Actually, we'll start from this side, so we got it right, eh? So your little pot. Um, I can't remember off hand. I think it's 1.3 liters or something like that. I think is. Or it might be a little bit more. That's a guess to make, but good size pot. The bases on them are really good too. Like I said, they're not they're not your cheap ones. I've had some stuff like this. I like going this way because the simple fact that it all folds into each other. So, but it's hard to get stuff like this that actually have decent bases. But this has really good base on it. Um, it, it they're solid. You know they're solid, and for it this here to weigh 3.5 kilos, you know it's going to be half decent. Um, obviously handles fold up. These handles don't get hot. I haven't encountered them to get hot, like from what I've been using them for. I guess if you got them on a on a stove and you, you, your pot's off, you know, the, the heating element and the, the um, flame, naked flames going up there, she might be a bit different, but when you put them on properly, yeah, I, I um, haven't had an issue with them getting hot. The lids, love the lids. They're all steel. Like I said, everything's stainless, obviously, except for that sort of gear. 
Um, the lids actually have holes, so no, it's good good for steam and that I guess. But uh, the best thing is, is I don't got to get a strainer out half the time. Just pour him over, and, and the water just runs out. So it runs out of the little holes. So that is a bonus. Two things in one right there. <laughs> That's that one over here. Little fry pan. Same thing. They all got good bases. I don't know if you, they're, they're, they're definitely solid. Um, so yeah, that's the little fry pan. Give you an idea of the size of the fry pan. Of course, that's 2200, so it's about 22 centimeters across. Uh, over here, I may as well do this one while I'm here for you. This one here is about 19 across. So 19 centimeters. Uh, same thing, handle folds around, back on itself, takes up no room. There's a few times I've used that for a plate and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the fry pan. Over to this big fella. So this one here is about 4.5 liters it can hold. Um, I'd say that'll be up to the brim. So that'll be, you know, Probably not so much doing past or anything like that, but if you want to store water in it, carry water, you know it can carry yeah, about 4.5 litres. But it's good, there's a little indicator on the inside, so actually, sorry, on the outside, so that's three litres there. But you know, that'd be good filling it up there if you're doing pastas or something like that. You fit a lot of pasta in that bugger. I've um, quartered crabs or whatnot, you know, cook bits and pieces of crab in there. Um, steamed a minute, yeah. So me rice, me pasta. So it's a good size for that. Give you an idea of the measurement across this one. It is so from the edge of the actual pot itself is about 2300, um, 23 centimeters. And I told you, yeah, the overall is about 30 centimeters from handle to handle. So yeah. Also, the lid for this has the holes as well same thing usually what I do if it is hot sometimes it's not hot so I don't need them I just hold him like that if it is hot same thing get a little it's probably just handy to do anyway especially if you are you know anything to do with steam and that because that that steam can just go anywhere <laughs> and it usually goes up your arm <laughs> so yeah handy just to hold it like that and pour your water out so like I said it's a strainer all in one also this lid, whatever you're cooking in here, if you want a lid, there's like the outer ring, so she sits on your on your big pot, nice and good. But also, there's like another section on the inside of that that actually houses on your um, your fry pan quite good as well. So I like if I'm cooking rissoles, I, I like kind of like keeping the heat in there for the rissoles, help the moisture. I'll put a lid on for the rissoles, so yeah. Um, another thing, you see these things here, they're actually for, so when you're packing it up, you'll slide that right back up at the end of the handle so that can bend in. But when you actually want to use it, so it's not gonna fall on you, you slide them forward so they can't be pushed in. So you know that's safe. Drawn, you'll get most of these sort of style handles, you'll see that little ring or something like it little slide so yeah you just slide it right up to the to the base to lock it in and you're laughing but yeah good bit of kit guys um i like it because i can use it for the camper trailer i can pack it all up and if i'm taking off in the quad or the boat or the um car it all packs into one and there's all the cooking gear for that camp trip i'm not having to run around the trailer and pull bits and pieces from here and there and uh, also it saves me weight because I used to have a setup with cookware in the ute and in the camper trail so this, it was doubling up so now yeah I just I don't double up this thing here just all in one put it in then you just need a plate in that um, I do see since having these that there is another kit out I think it I don't think it comes with all of it what's in this might have these two in it and then it has your um few cooking utensils but then i think it has plates and stuff like that in there so yeah another thing i do too i found out that just to save space if i can put stuff in stuff i will uh i realize that i can manage to when i break these down 
They'll fit in there, but I've got my little cereal bowl or just whatever bowl. It actually fits in there too, so, and it looks good at, like it suits it because it's stainless as well. So yeah, you can fit that little bit of extra in there if you really want to. We'll show you how it all goes back into each other. <laughs> like I said, there's instructions on the bottom of the um, top lid. So I'll go off of it. I'll throw that over there. First up, your little trivets. Place them on the bottom. And this bad boy, pull your handle forward. I'll put the lid on first. Actually, I'm, see, see, that's why I need this little thing on this. What's the name? I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> Take these back apart. Throw them in that pot. Get the lid for that little pot. Put him on. Slide him over. Like I said, make sure that slid back so you can do that. Drop him straight in. Fry pan. Slide him back. Fold the handle over. That just slips in around the outside of that little pot, goes in there. Chopping board on top, lid over it all. Then your little tie down strap. Boom, Bob's uncle. She's all packed. Great little kit for camping, guys, or anything, even at your house if you wanted to. It's good gear. Um, yeah, so. It's not much I can really honestly fold about it. Like I said, I just thought the old chopping board because stuff when you keep opening and closing it, that's that's made like that. I usually find it'll crack over time, but what like I said, probably about two or three years. It might even be longer. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but it's still going good. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't an issue. And again, lifetime warranty, so not really stressing about it. Also, guys, one thing I didn't mention, which is a bonus, uh, they are induction friendly. So you can use them on gas, induction, cooker, or even I'd say, your, you know, your hot plates, your little cool old school ones. Um, yeah, so pretty versatile, which I like the uh, induction side of things because I do have one on board, especially when I pull up at a, at a spot and it comes with power instead of using my gas. I'm going to um, pull the induction cooker out and it's also a, a good thing to have so if I do run out of gas when I am out whoop whoop the um, setup's capable to run this induction cooker which I can keep cooking my food especially if I'm halfway through cooking it too deadly anyway hope you've enjoyed that view it from me um, anything else you want to know about it drop a comment and yeah give us a holler I'll be happy to answer questions if I can answer them but anyway Till next time, catches.